How's it going guys? It is Darkmakers5 here. It feels awesome to say that again to you guys. It's been like two months since my last video and sorry for that by the way, for, for, the, for the lack of videos. I've, I've really had no inspiration to make any videos, nothing like no speed arts, etc. Et that's, that's the reason basically. But do not, do not fear, I am back with a new tutorial. So I'm going to pass my knowledge to you. We're going to learn how to make this, 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 yeah this. As you can see it's just a nice text here with some cracks in it. And this liquidy meta ball, liquidy liquid, liquid. If you can't tell, I like the word liquid. Let's, oh, yeah, let's begin. So you're going to, you want to have a spline here, your, sp your, your logo, like from Adobe Illustrator, once you have that, if, if you don't have that actually, you just, you want to make a text here, like name it whatever you want, that would, that would be enough, that would be sufficient, but I have a, my Adobe Illustrator file, so I'm just going to use that. You want to go into your, you want to copy that actually, your spline, and get a extrude nerbs file. Drag your spline into that. You want to, you want, you might want to rename it text so it's easy, easier to keep track. You want to bring down 20 to about the last one in movement down to about 10, so it's nice and thin. And the subdivision, I don't know, five. I suppose. If you want to add caps, you can. If you don't want to, it's not really needed. I, I like my caps really small, so it's barely visible. So I'm going to give it a 0 0.5. Now, what you want to do to your text is go into select your text, go into plugins and Thrailsy. Now, if you don't have Thrailsy, super easy to get. Just go Google it. Download it from the website Nitro 4D, I believe it is, and yeah, it's a free, it's a free, free plugin, very commonly used. Shouldn't be too hard to find. But if you, if you don't want these cracks, then you don't need Thrailsy. But if you do, you will need Thrailsy. Okay, once the, it has cracked your object, broken your object, I'm just gonna rename that to text again. Actually, you want to get your text, get a fracture object. Drag the text into the fracture object, select your text, go to Monograph, Effectors, and choose a hmm, shade, no, a random effector. Yes. Now you want to drag random effector into the fracture object, change it to point. I su yeah, point should do. I bring the strength to about, I don't know, four. So a three, four. To what three looks like. Yep, I'm gonna set it free. Now, what you wanna do is you should have two materials here, actually. One material cuts inside and cut outside. So you wanna change the cut outside to any color you want actually. I'm just gonna go for a a darkish grey close to black and add a lumus to it in the effect in the effects. Turn that to a, a object an animation yes. So you can choose a cut your color in your shader inside the um inside the lumas changes from the specular t to lighter and yeah that's it that's for the outside and uh, as for the inside you want to go to color I'm, I'm gonna go for a very light lime green for both luminance and for the color but if you want you can go for a, a, a vibrant red or anything you want I'm just gonna go green because as you can see 
in the other text that I previously showed you, which I accidentally closed, it was green. So, yeah. After that, after, after you have changed the colors, you would want to get started on the, the liquidy stuff. So you're going to select your, your spline, go into MoGraph, get a cloner object, make a sphere, we've been on the Vader till about 5. You're going to drag the sphere underneath your cloner object and change it from linear to object. You're going to drag your spline into the into the object column here and, and as you can see it will distribute the spheres along your spline which is the same sh shape as your text now for the for the fun liquidy stuff you want to go into array and choose a meta ball so you're going to get your meta ball you're going to get your clone object and drag it underneath the meta ball and then what you would want want to do is <coughs> excuse me change the editor subdivision to about two and the render subdivision to about two which would give you the yeah which would give you the li liquid effect you can leave the whole value at 100 so now what you want to do is change the distribution from count to step in your clone object bring the step to about 30 and now you're going to mess around with your start offset variation and your offsets until so you find a good mixture in what you in what you want it's totally up to you to mess around a bit I'll get an EV in distribution it's a bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that should do it. You want to add a, a a color to your meta ball as well. What I did, what I used was a a lime green. It's the same with the cracks. I added luminance to it. Brought it down to about four. I'll just go five percent. And add a reflection. For the reflection, you want to choose li leave the color. And bring the brightness down to fifty. I'm going to add it for now and bring this mix strength for now there and then bring the mix strength down to 50 as well you want to pop that onto your meta ball and your object your text sorry should be looking something like uh, this and as you can see the desired look is now completed I personally like this because it goes really well with backgrounds and color correction. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Oh wait, before I leave, actually, to get it to get the look you really want, you should probably go get a Lightroom with soft boxes, as you can see on on top. And you, you're gonna need to add ambient occlusion and global illum illumination. How to add those two things in your render settings is from effects, ambient occlusion, wait let me just delete, delete those two so you can see, ambient occlusion and global illumination. That's it guys, thank you, thank you for watching, if, if you want more videos subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, if you want anything specifically done, it can be a speed out tutorial on something, so yeah until then, see you next time guys.